Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel. Peter likes books. <laughs> and I'm back for day two of the reading rush. Hold on a second. I gotta do this thing. I was just doing a review on my review channel. I will show you what I reviewed in just a second. Hold on. So if you didn't know, I have five channels. I have this channel, if you just watch this channel. I have a daily vlog channel. I have a drama commentary channel where I do drama. Um, like gossip and tea and stuff like that. I have a motivational channel called Peterisms. And then I have, I forgot that I put my other camera battery in here the other day and now I couldn't, I couldn't find it. So anyway, um, and then I also have a review channel called Peter Reviews Stuff. And I just reviewed the Mean Girls Frappuccino. So if you want to know what I think about that, you're going to have to go over and see my review channel. Here's my coffee for the day. Okay. Day two of the reading rush. I'm having such a blast this year, you guys. I finished my second book last night, late last night, which was The Deep by Peter Benchley. Um, I gave it five out of five stars. I have to say, okay, so... I read The Deep by Peter Benchley for the challenge, um, what do you call it? Uh, the, the book to movie adaptation one, but where like, you've already seen the movie and then you read the book, okay? The Deep by Peter Benchley, starring Nick Nolte, uh, uh, Jacqueline Bissett, and Robert Shaw is probably one of my favorite movies of life. The book is almost identical to it, but it goes in a little bit more in depth. Um, it feels very much like reading Jaws. So Peter Benchley also wrote Jaws. Um, and it felt very similar to reading Jaws. They, like, I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, it's just, they were both fantastic. I will say this, that the movie, I totally understood the ending. In the book, I didn't understand the ending. Like, it literally, and I mean, I was listening to it on Audible, and I had, like, six minutes left, and I was, like, I can, I was looking at the clock, and I was, like, how am I, how are they going to tie this up in six minutes? Like, I, I really didn't understand it, and then the book literally just ends, and I was, like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand what happened. Like, I'm confused. Um, so, if anybody's read the book The Deep, can you let me know in the comment section below what happens at the end. Like, I'm very confused by, like, who dies and the treasure. And I'm just confused by all of it. So, um, but it was really, really good. I believe it is also my 45th book that I've read for the year. I think. Hold on. No, it's got to be my 46th or 47th book that I read for the year. Um, so I've completed two books for Readathon uh, for uh, the Reading Rush already, and it is day two. Um, I have also started Clue, the graphic novel, and Life as We Knew It by Susan Pfeffer. And by started them, what I mean is that I put them out on the kitchen counter. <laughs> I'm going to try to start reading them tonight outside, but... Um, it wasn't the nicest of weather in Indianapolis last night, so I couldn't sit outside and read. So I'm going to try to, it's a lot nicer today. So I'm going to sit outside and read tonight. I have my meeting tonight, my home group meeting. I don't know, for those of you that don't know, I've been sober for 25 and a half years and I'm very involved in a 12-step program. I have my meet, my home group meeting tonight, which a home group meeting is a meeting that you go to every week. So I have that tonight. Um, and then I plan to just spend the rest of, well, I also have to vlog. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the night, um, reading and listening to my next audiobook. And the next audiobook that I am going to be reading for the Reading Rush is The Guest List by Lucy Foley. I just want to say this, okay? I am on day two of the Reading Rush, and I cannot even believe... Now, I haven't done the challenges and all that kind of stuff yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to do the challenges. I don't know. Um, by the way, did you see I have a different hat on today? This hat says Silver Fox. Don't forget it. Okay. So, I don't know that I'm going to do the challenges. Um, I The Instagram one today is to dress, do cosplay of a character in a book, which I think is a really cute challenge for the Instagram one. But I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not really, like, 
in the mood to like put a costume together. So that's not gonna probably happen. Um, and then I don't know what the video challenge is. I haven't even looked. But I am gonna vlog every single day of the reading rush. Um, some days will obviously be longer than others depending on what I read. I forgot that I wanted to go to Ulta and get some of this lotion, but we're not gonna do that right now. Um, is this my good Judy? Oh my God, my, it's my good Judy Melissa. <laughs> What are you doing? Say hi to everybody. Okay, bye. She's going to pick up her um, niece at purse for graduation. So anyway, um, so I hope her niece doesn't watch my videos because then she's gonna be real surprised about what she gets on graduation. Um, anyway. <laughs> Small town. John Mellencamp sang about it, now you know. But I am gonna do the Reading Rush um, every single day. Um, I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna vlog every single day while I'm doing the Reading Rush. So today, I'm gonna start the, well, I already downloaded it um, and started it, but like get really into it. The Guest List by Lucy Foley. Now, yesterday, my good Judy tried to ruin this book for me, okay, and tell me everything that happened, and she's like, oh my God, that book is so good, and whatever. But, I wasn't having it, and I was like, no, you are not ruining it for me. So today, um, I'm gonna start that. I'm really excited about it. It's like nine hours and 54 minutes, the Audible version is. Oh, I know what I was gonna say, is that every other year, you guys, I do so poorly on the reading rush. Like I always only finish like two to three books, if that, right? Like sometimes, I like one year I think I only finished one book. It might have been last year. And I went into it this year that I'm like wanting to complete all of my reading goals. I'm wanting to read 100 books by the end of the year, which this is really helping me catch up because I got behind in June because I only read one book in June. In June, the only book that I read was for, um, oh, you know what? I have to tell you guys something too. Which means I have to pull in here. Hold on a second. Um, because I have to read it to you. The, we have to, we're announcing the August book for the book club. But anyway, I'm very proud of myself because I've already completed two books. And um, and somebody tried to get snippy with me on Twitter and they're like, but are you only listening to audiobooks? I'm like, you need to listen to Ariel Bissett. She said that it can be anything. It can be graphic novels, it can be comic books, it can be audiobooks, a book is a book is a book. I hate when like non-readers wanna get cute about that stuff. I'm like, whatever. How many stories have you listened to this year? Let's just put it that way. Here, we'll go over here in front of the Half Price books. I have not been, you guys, ever since like the COVID thing, I've only been to like Half Price books like one time. And I don't think I've been to Barnes & Noble at all. But I don't really love Barnes & Noble because it's so expensive. Although my in-laws for my birthday, they gave me a gift card. So, um, I probably need to go in there and get something. Okay, it's kind of busy here today. I'm kind of surprised. She's taking a box in there. I literally have boxes of books that I could take into half price books. I need to. I literally pissed. Oh, I meant. I picked. Sorry. <laughs> Family friendly. I literally picked the worst place to park. Okay, for the lighting. So let's park over here and hope it's better. It's really not, is it? Oh, there it is. And look, half price books is in the background. That's kind of cute, isn't it? Okay. Now, I wanna tell you what we are reading for, somebody just texted me. Oh my God, Judy Melissa, she said, oh my God, so funny. Okay, um, and I just have to say, my good Judy Mel has been the best book club partner running it ever because she has kept on me and I feel so bad because I've been so busy lately that I've had a hard time, um, <laughs> some of the like, screenshots, I've had a hard time like getting to stuff. Um, with this, and so she's like the other night, we were like, we have to pick a book. So we wanted to do, um, 
Okay, we were thinking about doing the Green River Killer. If somebody's interested in that, let us know, and maybe we'll do that in September. But we couldn't find the right book that we wanted to read, and the one that we found was too short, and then she had read one. Where is the book? So I just had Googled. I had done this before. I Googled, like, that's not it. Oh, darn it. Here, I gotta go. I'll, I know how I'll find it, because I texted it to Mel. Um, I had Googled, like, the best. Here it is. The best... Um, uh, true crime novels and this book came up which is called Killers of the Flower Moon the Osage murders and the birth of the FBI and here I will show you what it looks like it looks like that that's the marked woman I don't know what that is it's not what I'm trying to do here why are you doing this this is what it looks Okay, it's available everywhere, <laughs> just so you know. Killers of the Flower Moon, let me read to you. Um, here, I'm gonna get on Goodreads and read it to you. Oh my God, this has turned into... When you go on um, like Amazon, it's listed as like one of the best true crime books ever. Okay, so this is what the, it looks like on the cover. And it is by David Gran. And here you go, it's a very long synopsis. In the 1920s, the richest people per capita in the world were members of the Osage Indian Nation in Oklahoma. After oil was discovered beneath their land, the Osage Road and chauffeured automobiles built mansions and sent their children to study in Europe. Then, one by one, they began to be killed off. One Osage woman, Molly Burkhart, watched as her family was murdered. Her older sister was shot, her mother was then slowly poisoned, and it was just the beginning. As more Osage, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, Osage began to die under mysterious circumstances. In this last remnant of the Wild West, where oil men like J.P. Getty made their fortunes and were desperados such as Al Spencer or the Phantom Terror roamed, virtually anyone who dared to investigate the killings were themselves murdered. As the death toll surpassed more than 24 Osage, the newly created FBI took up the case in what became one of the organization's first major homicide investigations. But the Bureau was then notoriously corrupt and initially bungled the case. Eventually, the young director, Jagger Hoover, turned to a former Texas Ranger named Tom White to try to unravel the mystery. White put together an undercover team, including one of the only Native American agents in the Bureau. They infiltrated the region, struggling to adopt the latest modern techniques of detection. Together with the Osage, they began to expose one of the most sinister conspiracies in American history a true life murder mystery about one of the most monstrous crimes in American history. I think it sounds so good, doesn't it? And I don't know anything about it either, which it feels like a part of history that we should probably know, you know? So yeah, so there's that. That is the August book for the book club. If you're just finding my videos, we I have a true crime book club with my good GD Mel. It's called a true crime book club. It's listed below. All you have to do is join on Facebook or Goodreads to get all the notifications and be part of it, or both. And every month we read a different true crime book. This month we are reading Deviant by Harold Schechter, and it is about Ed Gein. Um, and yeah, and I'm reading that next week because this week is the reading rush, so. But anyway, I just wanna say, I'm having a lot of fun with the reading rush. I'm really, really enjoying it this year. Um, and I hope that I achieve all of my goals and world peace. <laughs> if I was in a pageant and world peace. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you guys are doing with the Reading Rush in the comment section below. I love you guys. And I will be back tomorrow with more updates. Bye. Love ya.